Christian Cage. He finally spoke, SPD. We, finally. One of those things, it felt like I saw um, – I we retweeted it on social. It felt like there was a competition of who's going to have the best promo it, it, on AW Dynamite tonight. Um, there was definitely a competition, and Christian Cage set the bar in, in a lot of ways, man. It was great to hear him talk for the first time, and you could tell – He's not he's not backing down from the critics. No, and he's reminding everyone that I mean three words outwork everyone. And you know, he I loved how he's saying he, he makes wrestling better and he makes wrestlers level up. And mm -hmm. that, you know, in AEW he wants to cement his legacy essentially. So and how he's a workhorse. Like, you know, it's just making me even more excited. And you know, he he finally laid out his plan, made out his mission, why he's here. And, you know, we were waiting for that since day one. But the slow build and this, it works. And, you know, it just, it's exciting to see him talk and hear him, listen to him, um, out promo everyone. That's right. And outwork everyone. And so the intensity, I mean, he is, he's done it all. And he's going to be such an important asset to AEW moving forward. And I hope that we can see him in the ring and showing outwork in people, you know, more or sooner than later. Hopefully he maybe kind of has a play in next week's um, match where Kenny's in the ring, maybe yeah, show his face or something. I, I think you got to keep pushing him every single week. You have this amazing debut and he's got to show face every single week for at least the next couple of months. He's got to have a, he's got to have a match or an announced match coming up and eventually lead to a feud with, with Kenny. And then that match can built to double or nothing or something like that. So. Yeah, man, I, I'm with you. Um, I think it, it goes without saying. We, we've talked about it before. Christian's over. He's he's been thirty over thirty five times. He's been a champion in professional Jeez, wrestling. That's insane. Um, think about the success that this man's had. He's not coming here to just be a guy in the background. He's going to be a player. Um, yeah. You know, he, we we interact with some great folks on social. Hancho is uh, one of one of the guys <laughs> that I really like on Twitter. He talked about it, man. It's, it's hard to believe, but this dude was in, was amongst the finalists in the Royal Rumble not that long ago in WWE, just a couple Jeez. weeks, just like two months ago, not even. Um, wow. just, just unbelievable to see what he's capable of. Uh, and I, I think it was great to be reminded that this dude can can cut a promo, and he can he he could and he could carry yeah. a feud. On his own, he's he's Captain Charisma for a reason. My man is my man has has been through the ringer in his career. He's done it, done and seen it all. Um, so I don't know, I don't know where they go. Right? Do they? Do they? It feels like it would be a kind of a cool trio to have Kingston, Mox, and Chris. And Those Christian are stars. Kevin. That's yes. a lot of stars. That's a lot of star power on one side of the ring, bro. Um, you put them against uh, Omega and the Good Brothers. That's certainly all for it. Um. Are the good brothers going to be distracted by the young bucks? Where do we go from here? I, I don't know. I, I think that that you do have to have Christian on the show regularly to build off of that big debut. I agree with you 100%.